If you believe it or not, for this 3D scene we nearly only used seamless textures. Why I tell you very soon. Some of the objects certainly has individual textures like their 3D scanned persons or backpacks. But here the textures were created automatically while 3D scanning these objects. Also the plants have individual textures we have created manually. And there was something else... Ah, the butterfly. This one also had their individual texture. <laughs> okay, seamless textures. What is that? As the name already says, that are image textures you can tile without seeing the borders of the image. That you can see here very well. If you look from far away, certainly you can see the repetition. But if you zoom very closely, you can see this looks quite good. And we still have a very high resolution. In the next video, I show you how to mix several of those seamless textures together and to set it up so that it automatically will adjust to the shape of the surface. So it looks like one individual texture, but in actual fact, these are just several of those seamless textures. The advantage of using seamless textures is that we don't need to create UV maps, because creating UV maps in most cases takes a lot of time. And also it's great that we can use one material for more than just one object. So that means we are extremely flexible and are able to texture as many objects of our scene with as less as possible effort. Especially useful this is for organic objects like sand, stones, bark, metal and so on. So just perfect for our nature scene. Not useful, this method is for example the persons or the leaves of the plants. But also for objects with clear structures, this may not be very useful. Alright, in this video we'll show you how to easily create seamless textures using the commercial tool Pixplant. Besides the seamless texture, this tool automatically creates the displacement, the normal, the specular and the ambient occlusion map, which you can adjust with some settings. The company behind Pixplant is also a sponsor of this workshop. They are sponsoring a 20% discount for this tool Pixplant. That means if you buy this workshop, you also receive a 20% discount code and this you can use if you buy this tool. Certainly, it could be that you not have enough money to buy this tool. But that's not a problem at all, because at the end of this video, I quickly show you how to create seamless textures using the free image manipulation program GIMP. And also we have another sponsor, Adrian Kubasa from iceclots.de. And he has created, especially for this workshop, his Seamless Texture Pack Volume 2 including 25 high resolution seamless textures, also including specular, ambient occlusion, displays and normal map. And this is also included in the commercial version of this workshop and these textures you can use for private and commercial use. Ok, I open up Pixplant, click on File, New Texture and here I use a resolution at 2048 by 2048 so that we have a very high texture resolution. Into the texture synth window I drag and drop my image I want to use for my seamless texture. And as you can see this is not a perfect image for creating a texture from. We have shadows, we have the ivy, the grass and so on. But I show you how to create a good looking texture anyway. Down here we have the option equalize brightness, this is already enabled. And this option tries to equalize the bright and the dark spots of the image. And as you can see, if I change the setting down here, on the left side it automatically creates the seamless texture. And here you can see with all this ivy and the grass it does not really look good. And because of that we simply can select areas in this image here which are excluded from generating the texture from. If I'm done with that, I click on generate and then the texture will be generated again. It's still not perfect, so I exclude this shadow area up here and click on generate again. 
Ok, so far I'm happy with this. After that I click on Ascend to 3D Maps. Here I can choose what 3D maps should be generated. In this case I want to generate everything. So I keep all the checkboxes enabled and click on Send. Now it shows us the different 3D maps. Here we can do some very basic settings. But later we have more options for that. So I simply press on OK for every map. In the left window you can see the seamless texture will be displayed on a very basic 3D model. Down here you also can change the 3D object like a cube or a plane. Also you can click on custom and import an OBJ file that you may have exported from Blender. So you also can view this texture on an individual object. And using this UV value down here you can scale the texture to see if the tiling works fine. For now I leave this value at 2. And now let's have a look at the texture settings on the right side. Up here you have different tabs for the different 3D maps which were generated. And down here we have some settings for these maps. Here for example we have the possibility to adjust the different detail levels of this map. You can adjust the very fine, the fine, the medium, the large and the very large details. Then we have the possibility to sharpen or smoothen the image. Then we have some settings for neutralizing the shadows and adjusting the intensity and the contrast or the hue and saturation. If I switch to the displacement tab you can see basically we have the same settings except for some color settings. The displacement map basically creates a real deformation of the surface as you can see here if we zoom in a little bit closer. And for example here I can decrease all the fine details so that we just have the very big displacement details. And to see the deformation a little bit better I can change the direction of the light by pressing the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. Yeah, and using the same kind of settings we can adjust the normal map. The normal map works similar to the displacement map but here we don't have a real deformation of the geometry. But instead the normal map just affects the shadows. So basically it seems like the mesh is deformed but in actual fact it is not. And this saves a lot of compute power. In the specular tab we can adjust the specular map. If we take a look on the left top side we can enable or disable some of those 3D maps. So if I just enable specular you can see the specular on the object a little bit better. Yeah, and same thing you can do for the other maps. Yeah, and then in the last tab we can adjust the ambient occlusion map. The ambient occlusion map basically creates shadow in all the corners. And using the settings you can sharpen or smooth it or increase or decrease the intensity. Yeah, and this easy we have created our seamless texture including all the different 3D maps. And if you are happy with all your settings you click on File, Save All with Automatic Names, navigate to our project folder and then I type in the name for the texture like Bark. Then I click on Save and if we take a look in our project folder you can see all the different maps were saved automatically with the correct names. So behind the name Bark you can see AO, Ambient Occlusion, Diffuse, Displacement, Normal and so on. Yeah, and you can see this is super easy creating the seamless textures and in this case it's really worth the money because if you create seamless textures manually in another image manipulation program this can take a lot of time. So but this is not everything this program can do. Here we have a very extreme example. In this case I want to include these concrete plates into my texture. But as you can see I didn't really care while shooting this image because we have this very strong perspective distortion in this image. But that's not a problem at all because we can use this seed wither down here. I click on that and then we can use these four corner points to straighten the image you can see on the right side. But in this case the distortion is so strong that in the upper area of the right image it gets very blurry. That means usually you won't take an image with such a strong distortion. But if you have an image with a slightly distortion 
you can fix this using the seed wizard. Also, this tool can detect automatically a pattern in your image. You can see in this image, for example, the tool automatically finds a very good pattern he can detect all over the image. And you can see on the top left side, best so far, that means this is a very good result. If there is a message with red color, that means he can't find the pattern in the image. Very good. If you have a good pattern, simply press OK and then on Generate. And as you can see, this tool even can create seamless textures with pattern easily. Here we have another example with is wooden planks. This image has a slight perspective distortion. We can fix using the seed wizard. And also the image has a pattern I can choose here. And then I simply press on generate, then send to 3D maps. And in just a second, I have my final seamless texture and all the 3D maps. Yeah, and as you can see, this tool is very easy to handle and you get very good results in seconds. Okay, now let's have a look at how to use GIMP for create seamless textures. That's basically a free alternative. Here I simply drag and drop an image, then I click on image, canvas size, and here I change the canvas size to 2048 by 2048. I take care that I have the same aspect ratio, and then I click on resize. After that I resize the image so that I have more content of the image in this frame, and then I click on scale. On the dashed lines you can see the image is basically bigger than the frame and because of that I click on layer, layer to image size. And then the layer will be cutted so that it fits exactly on the square frame here. Okay and to make this image seamless I click on filters, map, make seamless. Yeah, and basically with one click this image was made seamless. But this works not perfectly, if we zoom in a bit you can see in some areas the texture looks a bit smoothly blended. So this filter basically just works for very rough textures. If you have something like a brick texture and use this filter you can see this blending very strongly. To create the seamless textures using GIMP for more structured images there's also another more individual method. For this you do the same steps as before until this point where you cut the layer to the frame. And then we click on layer transform offset. And now we can move this image and for offset we use half of the texture size. So in this case 1024 by 1024. And if I click on offset you can see the image is moved in a way that we have all the edges in the middle of the image. And now I pick the clone tool, choose a rough brush, increase the brush size. And now I can pick an area from this image using Control left click and paint over these edges. So the picked part will be cloned where you paint and so you can make the seams invisible. When I'm done with the painting part, I again click on layer, transform offset and again move the image at 1024 by 1024. So it's back in the original position. Then I click on offset and we are done with our seamless texture. Now you simply can save this image and use it in Blender and if you tile it there, it should work fine as seamless texture. Yeah, so easy you can create seamless textures using Pixblend or GIMP.